People are calling you the Warren Miller of Lego brick filming. Oh man, Warren Miller has been such a huge inspiration over the years. Pretty sick to bring that into the brick filming now. This is Battle of the Brick Flicks, a head-to-head -head competition where your favorite brick filmers face off to see who's got what it takes to bring home the Brickademy Award. Let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to Battle of the Brick Flicks. Joining me today is David Piggott, the man, the myth, the legend. Welcome, David. Happy to be here, Paul. Happy to be in round two. Woo! Battle of the Brick Flicks. Joining me today is Devin Brown from Oxburger Studios. Devin was our wildcard winner. And uh, Devin, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Thanks for having me, Paul. Stoked to be on the show. This round, your film, Don't Mess With Santa 3. You're going up against David Pickett's Nightly News at 9, Robophilia versus Grabor. I love how creative it is, especially when you have these villains. Let me introduce you to Hairman, No Hand Jack and Chrome Neck Larry. Hmm. Well, don't just stand there. Ha ha. Ow. Oh, butts, I brought my airsoft gun. Barry, cover fire. Barry? Be right out. come up with these wild characters? I think again it's just trying to bring something uh, new and different and I tried to pick villains that would be just pretty useless actually. It makes it a pretty easy fight for Santa but uh, yeah just it's the weirdest villains possible which aren't even hardly villains. They're just these dudes helping out Eggman with his evil shenanigans. <laughs> Dude I love it. I love it man. My favorite parts were some of the brick built effects that happen like guy who's sitting on a couch his couch goes like uh, down into his secret lair and just like the legs of the couch going that was like a cool animation or there's a secret agent out in the field and he presses like a button on his remote and then like his car pops out like a satellite dish those are the kind of things to me that you know emphasize like oh that's what's cool about this medium is that you can quickly build things and uh just have them come to life like that uh, but I also just like the character design. The the villains were silly. Something dramatic is happening, and then it goes like dun 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 dun, and it keeps doing that. And then it, the camera turns over, and you see like dramatic sound effects department. And there's a guy like sitting there. Like, Doo. So yeah, just kind of those goofy, cartoonish aspects are always what appeals to me in uh, brick films. So well, and I think that's why it'll be a good match to have the two of you guys go against each other because you both make really fun creative and uh, with a stressing on like brick built effects. You're a ski instructor. How does that affect your style in brick filming? I think it uh, really affects how I go about putting the movie together. Obviously ski movies and whatnot always are to music and whatnot. So that really changes the way that you're animating stuff. Typically I'll get the song or whatever and then I'll uh, just start playing it over and over again. And I'll usually just have a pad of paper and be like, yeah, that would be a really cool, uh, let's do a backflip or whatever at that kind of build up in the song and just kind of building off from that. I'll typically do the more difficult shots or whatever first and then kind of, oh, I can do that. Now I can do the rest of the video easy. <laughs> <laughs> You've got Robophilia versus Grabor. Why don't you tell me a little bit about how that came to be? Yeah, Robophilia versus Grabor. I think I made that back in 2011. It's part of uh, the Nightly News at Nine Chapter Two, Robots, which is all about robots. I knew I wanted to have Robophilia go interview slash fight the leader of the Pinchbots, Grabor, Robophilia. <laughs> I'm gonna find you, bot. You're gonna find me, not Roberto Botophilia. <laughs> That's me. Always gets her leader. She is undefeated. Oh, are you ready? Oh, big way. Roberto Botophilia's got her lead. Something tells me 
the pitch spot, you know? You know, to me, I've always envisioned Robophilia as kind of uh, an amalgam of like Mega Man, Samus from Metroid, and just Buffy the Vampire Slayer as a news reporter. Animating with Robophilia is so much fun because, you know, she's like Inspector Gadget too, that her arm can just turn into whatever, and she's got bouncy legs and grabby arms and she swings. So I don't know, always know what she's gonna do half the time I start animating with her. I just kinda have a bunch of gray pieces and go wild. The fight sequence she does with Grabor, it's like a 30 second shot and it was totally improvised. For me, that's kind of the fun, is just playing with Lego and bringing it to life. I love David Pickett's stuff. He uses so many just animation techniques in his videos. It's like all animation driven. I don't think he uses many effects in it, which is really awesome and respectable. And he's just, his crazy storylines that he's got going through these movies, I mean, they just keep you coming back. It's the green versus orange and all that crazy stuff, love it. And uh, Robophilia's arms and stuff that she's always doing and whatnot, love it. I love all the madness in your films, you know, there's just, there's so much creativity in them. Do you have any advice for, let's say, a new brick filmer on the scene or somebody who's just starting out? My advice on uh, coming up with ideas and kind of developing them is to, you know, write like you're a kid. What is the crazy thing that you think would be awesome? And then write that story. But then, you know, once you have that sort of basic outline, show it to other people, like show the script that you've written. I got a lot of great feedback from people when I was developing the early scripts of Nightly News at Nine. I read through the scripts and saw what parts people thought were funny, and then I would add more of that. It takes a long time to make something that's really good, and uh, but it's worth that effort to uh, develop your idea before you even start animating. Uh, but at the same time, you know, as much as I'm really into the planning aspect. I think that's really important to keep play as a really big part of Lego animation. So that's why I always have things where I just have a general outline of what I, I want to happen. Like I know Robophilia is going to beat Grabor, but the details of their fight, I left up to just sort of me playing with the characters and seeing what felt good. It's not necessarily storyboarded, it's just uh, I've got some clear ideas and some just wide open areas that are I can fill in later. So that's that'd be my advice. Dude, that's a great tip. So I want everybody to go watch both movies and you're either gonna vote for Robophilia versus Grabor or Don't Mess With Santa 3. Vote in the comments below and you have a two week voting window that starts today. Thanks for joining me. That's all for this episode of Battle of the Brickflakes. Battle of the Brickflakes. Woo!